11 billion dollars of combined investment in AI data centers planned for York and Lancaster counties and very little had been known about those plans up till today. Fox 43's James Corrigan he is live in Lancaster this afternoon where officials did provide some more details on those plans. They did, Evan. The project behind me will represent the beginning of a new industrial future in the city of Lancaster, while across the river in York County, a similar future is being planned as AI data centers are becoming new economic drivers in South Central Pennsylvania. There's an AI arms race, which the U.S. is winning, and I think they're trying to continue to be winning in that piece. And, you know, Lancaster and Pennsylvania is definitely the uh, center point for that. New details about the $6 billion center point in Lancaster were revealed by Mayor Deneen Sirachi and representatives from AI developer Carissa Technology Parks about the new AI data center planned for the site at 216 Greenfield Road in the city of Lancaster. Carissa Representative Daniel Kelly says the site covered all the bases for what they look for in a data center. We look for sites that have abundance of power. We look for sites that have um, a local workforce close to major cities, good fiber, and you know this was kind of perfect. The investment coincides with a separate $5 billion investment for a data center in York County at the York 2 Energy Power Station site in Peach Bottom near Delta. While that project from Calpine Corporation is in the early phases, County Commissioner President Julie Wheeler says the new site will boost not only the economy, but the future of York County industry. One great thing about our country is we are constantly innovating and developing new technology, so I think it's exciting. And I think it's exciting that we have a technology company that wants to come and do innovative things here in our community. While details surrounding that project still have yet to be released, Concerns have been voiced over the Lancaster data center about water and electricity uses. Other data centers nationwide have reportedly affected both water and power supplies in communities. But Kelly says water will not be used to cool the center and that PPL is planning an upgrade to its facilities to power the center. We are paying for our substation, the two substations on site, Carissa is, and PPL is working on a switchyard to reinforce the grid for the city, which you know, we're obviously uh, helping with that cost, but in terms of us actually adding to the cost, it's very minimal. Now, Carissa is developing this site for the AI software company CoreWeave. This is the old R.R. Donnelly printing, pre printing facility, and the demolition of this building is going on right now. In three weeks, we are told that this building is going to look substantially different. Phase one of this project is expected to be complete in the summer of 2027. We don't know much about the York facility's time frame, but we do know that a, to that a town hall is expected to be held in Lancaster soon by Mayor Sirachi to answer some of the residents' questions about this brand new facility. Evan. Fox 43's James Corrigan live in Lancaster this afternoon. James, thank you.